Grogner Grognerson, destroyer of in, slayer of dragons, and stealer of artifacts. Your time has come, my friend. It's time to get some real goals in stone. We're not just out there to collect artifacts and treasure and live a, a happy, fun life of gathering an enormous amount of wealth. No, no, no. He's killed our people, our animals, burnt down our home, and has now stolen historic artifacts of the Grigna clan. That pretender, Grogner Grognerson, needs to pay. But Grogner Grognerson is a king controlling most of the northern part of this planet, all three of those red Viking raider sites all bow and swear fealty to Grogna. And I think to take on a king, we're gonna need a king of our own. And we have the castle, we have the resources, we have the wealth and the power, but no king who just calls himself king is truly a king. We need people who follow our king. We need settlements, towns, fealty, tribute to the brand new castle. We're moving from travelers from an inn to Adventurer Guild to now full on kingdom. It's time that we carve out our own piece of this world, damn it. Not to be traipsed over by everyone else. House Waltney and the Empire and now Grogner Grognus and no more of this. And to that one person in the comments who said something along the lines of, oh, he's clearly forgotten about the dragon horn. I'm playing 5D chess. What are you doing? You're being snarky in the YouTube comment section, no doubt in your underwear. The second we got this dragon horn and I saw that there was a dragon crown available after Grogner Grogness and slew Toothless the first, I have been planning on crafting that into a crown for none other than Grigna himself. I mean, obviously it was going to be Grigna. It'd be weird if it was... Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. Obviously it was going to be weird if I was going to be like, oh, King Phil. <laughs> Though he deserves it. That would be strange. And that snarky person in the comments, oh, he's forgotten. He has forgotten about the dragon horn. No, no, you're totally right. I totally forgot about the dragon horn. I wasn't setting up to build a kingdom for Grigna or anything like that, waiting for the story to develop naturally over time. No, no, no. I'd forgotten. So as we can clearly see, we can make dragon crown. Where can we make that? Well, we can make that at the forge. We can make it at the smithy or the machining table. But this being medieval, of course, I must have forgotten to go to the forge, click on the forge, and type in dragon crown that isn't there. Maybe you, random commenter, maybe you have been forgotten. Maybe you've forgotten. Maybe you are forgotten. <laughs> we can't craft it. That's what I'm getting at. Uh, soon. Soon. We'll get the research. Then we can do it soon. We're working on building him up to be a king and make him a crown for ages. We just don't have the research for it, okay? You've got to be patient. It's a slow burn series. We have to get the tape prints. We have to do everything. Sebastian, what are you doing if not researching here? Uh, advanced scribe table. Why, ca why can't you research that? It's probably a better question. Now, hold on. Do we need some other building? You are on drugs. Uh, no, you're like on, <laughs> not on drugs. <laughs> That's poor, poor phrasing. You have the drugs job and the stone cutting taken a high priority. So before I remove you off of those, you're going to go research for me, aren't you, Sebastian? Harvesting grass. No, 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 no. I don't think you understand. We can't do it. I wonder if there's a prerequisite. Reroll. I want a dragon crown. Reroll. Medieval medicine. Rustic storage. Beekeeper. Oh, I love bees. Blood weapons. No, that was the realm of Grogna Grogna, and I could never. Basic cooking. Arcane weapons, though. Oh. Now, along with building an actual kingdom, and now, uh, of course, we're going to continue doing our adventures. Our main source of resources and income is from these quests. We've built up a mighty amount of wealth from this. Uh, arguably, a little bit too much wealth, given that we're basically undefended. 300,000, in fact. Now, when we go out on quests, it's not just a case of slaying people, eating the bodies, blowing up the brains, whatever. We're going to capture them, and we are going to show them that it, they can turn their life around. They can stop being bandits and robbers. And they can follow a king who isn't just going to ask them to bend the knee. He isn't going to force them into servitude. They're going to follow Grigna willingly, because he is majestic, and he will bring balance to this world. No more Grogna. No more people burning down your inn if you follow Grigna. Grigna will defend you, and you, in turn, will give Grigna some money. It does sound like extortion in hindsight, but I promise we're the good guys. So when we go out on quest today, we're going to look to try and capture people uh, and bring them back, convert them, show them the right way. And then we're going to send them off and we're going to try and build towns, embassies, farms. We're going to build a proper empire here. And along the way, I want to still focus on giving everybody their own unique armor set. Lupus, you can't deny it. The... Oh. Lupus, you can't deny it, looks amazing, wearing that, uh, I think it was called Cold One gear as a uh, Cryomancer. Just fantastic combo. And our people at this point are so powerful that we can afford to finally move away from things like Eltex gear, though Phil looks amazing, I'll probably keep him with that. We can move out and give them all dedicated stuff. So that's going to be the main goal, along with getting enough people to, to convince to join us. So what I think we'll have to do as well is let's remove this tomb. We are going to turn this into a jail cell, ready to get more people to eventually bring them, bring them over to our side of things. That's a nice bed. 
It's probably nicer than the beds our people have. Oh, we've got to show them. We are the good guys here. I'm trying to be morally, morally good. We've only stolen from bandits and those hostile to us. We've never gone after, even though we could have, camps that had hundreds of gold that we could have probably taken quite easily. We've ignored it because they've just been innocent people minding their own business. So we're going to treat prisoners with respect and dignity, maybe for the first time ever. So to get prisoners, what we're really looking for now are places like this, right? Farming works I owned by the Western Republic. Are we hostile to the Western Republic? Because there are three different republics here, all of which are different kingdoms, all of which do their own things. We're enemies with the New Republic, but the Western and the Eastern we're neutral with. We're the good guys. We're not just going to attack them. We're not going to make an enemy. What about you here? That is the Coalition of Kanyo. Uh, who on earth are the Coalition of Kanyo, I wonder? Um... Are you hostile to us? The Cam and Kin League. <laughs> I guess these are all just unaffiliated little mining bands that we could we could go and attack. We've got one there. Viking traders. No, see, they're friendly with us. So let's head out there. Let's go to these sites, but we won't attack them unless we, you know, unless they are already hostile, right? And my God, today we are traveling in style because our kingdom is going to be supported by, I think, one of our one of our biggest boons, one of our biggest flexes, and some uh, some mad style here. We've got the dragons. Somebody said we should give Grigna the silver dragon because it matches kind of Grigna's aesthetic, right? We should give Pill, Pill, Pill the purple dragon. Yeah, because that one also matches. And then Toothless, the much larger dragon, should carry the much larger Rita. And you know what? I like that a lot. I think that's pretty good. Do they all travel at the same speed? 160, 160, 160. We're moving with speed and with style. And how far our little adventurers have come, huh? From that inn where we were scrounging up gear where poor Phil could barely cast a spell because he... Couldn't even get the neural load for a single volley. And now look at us. Riding out there, firing off whatever spells you want. Blowing up brains from a distance. A top dragon back. Ooh, hold on. This is going to expire in two hours. Was a little bit busy yesterday. You know, uh, building everything back up and getting to grips with things. Duran Duran, chief of the Stoneborn Halls, is being attacked by the Corsairs. The Corsairs led by none other than Grogna Grognison. Though he probably won't be there because he's a faction leader. Tome of Cooking times two, Tome of Persuasion. 27 legendary medicine is absolutely nuts in a term of melee. Um, honestly, I think I want the medicine and the melee because we are going to need a lot of these tomes, which I've been saving up, for the children. Grigna Jr., Bones Jr., because educating children takes a long time and Bones our best artificer. There's only so much they can learn, though I do have a lot of people doing it. Why not rely on knowledge from our allies to educate them, huh? So we've got Viking traders. We're not going to raid them. They're our friends. Uh, Western Republic. They are... As it's just a small independent group, you can attack them without any broader diplomatic consequences. We're not going to do it, though. We're, we are the good guys. I know we could, but I want to be... You know, I want to be kind here. Um, you want us to go hunt an enormous uh, wyvern. That's fine. We can do that one. Um, and then sky shards, too, which we really should send a caravan out with... With maybe Grigna Jr. in it, so that you can suck up the suck up the sky shards. It will affect the growth and, and learning, right? But if you're already getting learning from a magic rock... Who needs an education? Where are the sky shards? It's probably a better question. Oh, it's quite far away. <laughs> um, you know what? Why did we send a squad? Sister Lil Big Baguette, Gazoos, and Lupus. Send them with Grigna Jr. And let's get him some field experience. Because he's going to potentially inherit what might become a kingdom. So you know what? Roach, Horse, and Thrombrain can go to... You know what? Let's give Horse, given that Sister Lil Baguette is uh, part of the Grigna clan. We've got to give you the, the Grigna named Horse, right? Lupus can have Thrombrain. Roach can have... Uh, sorry, Gazoos can have Roach. And then Grigna Jr. can have the Chocobo. I think it's a bit more appropriate for a tiny child. Scooty, no! What about the open gaming license? You can't do this. How meta, though. They're playing an RPG campaign inside a game about an RPG campaign that we've turned into an RPG campaign. That's crazy. Oh, before I forget, there is one other thing we have to work on. I should have probably mentioned this immediately after the um, Fiend incident the other day. We've got to try and build somebody who's psychically slash magically deaf, right? Maybe Bones Jr., maybe Grigna Jr., who knows? But we need somebody who's completely immune to any sort of magical influence in case we get something else like a Fiend. Because uh, apparently there's also something even stronger than the Fiend that's very similar to the Fiend. Who installed that like that? I mean, what the hell were you thinking? So now for the real challenge. Are we going to be able to take anybody alive? Because these three aren't really known for uh, taking prisoners. Ever. They, they've literally never taken a prisoner. Let's be cautious. Triple caution. Oh, God. No, oh, that's a lot of very flimsy people. Oh, God, they're almost entirely naked. Okay, uh, Phil, 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 Phil. Let's put you on your pellets. Because those will hopefully just injure and not immediately murder. Rita, um, 
let's get you auto casting acid and brambles. Oh, we can't auto cast the brambles, damn it. Um, Grigna. <laughs> I don't know. I'll be honest, I don't know, fella. What if instead we use Grigna as a tank rather than DPS? So what I what I think is we throw on the adrenaline so that he avoids uh, any pain for a little while, and then we do like mass beckon when the heat drops a little bit. And then anybody who survives this, we can quickly patch them up with Rita. Which, which, I mean, this is the best I can do, right? Anybody who survives it, we patch them up with Rita. And hopefully... Oh, shit. Well, I mean, also try not to die. I mean, that could be a problem. I didn't really anticipate them having a bunch of uh, bunch of mages themselves. Fine, you know what? Let's just go adrenaline mode. Anybody who survives, we can patch up fast. We don't have to take like 15 people in one swoop. Oh, it also occurs to me they didn't even freeze Phil. They just froze their friend. <laughs> Amazing. Summon the goose. Summon the goose, Phil. I, uh, there it is. Look at that. A being of pure terror. You could use your sword. Just, you know, like instead of your conversion stick. We don't quite know how we're looking. Grigner has summoned his bear, which should hopefully gore some of them. We've knocked a couple of people down, though. Look. Eagle's down, bleeding out in 15. Comboa's down, bleeding out in 15. Ciara is down. Not bleeding out at all. Oh, and there's another one. Oh, my God. And another. And another. My, my, my squad. Oh, they've netted up Rita. How do I free Rita from the net? You can't just net my bug lady. That's cruel. She just like, that. what the, how do I, how do we free her from the net? Maybe it's just like a, maybe it's just a thing that will last a while. Okay. Uh, and then I guess the quickest way to do this, right, is we crack the doors open, um, claim hold open. Let me just reform the caravan. And then while they're on the world tile, they should also tend. That'll probably be, just like strip down though. Oh, I guess it is from the net. I hope that wears off in a second. They were eating monkey. You were turning monkeys into pemmican. Oh, no prisoners. I've changed my mind. Okay, fine. We'll rehabilitate them, okay? We're going to teach them their ways. Please don't eat monkeys. This is how diseases spread. Okay, perfect. So now, in theory, if we just go ahead and reform the caravan, uh, we can't because there are still hostiles on the map. Ooh. Uh, oh, they've netted up the dragon as well. Man, that seems like a powerful power. Who's got that? Because that'd be a hell of a way to capture prisoners. Oh. It's the person trapped in the ice. Reese is back up. Okay, so the net doesn't last too long. Fine, we'll start you patching people up then. Um, and then we'll tend the rest on the road. Because a lot of them... Look, I mean, Grigna's only injured them. He hasn't straight up murdered them or chopped limbs off. They'll still make for good subjects. Areas now safe. We just have to wait for the other person to leave. There you go. Okay, reform caravan. And then all we're going to do is just leave and then patch them on the road. So capture everybody. It's either this or we micromanage each one, whereas that will do it automatically. So I'm all right with that. Uh, we'll take the goose and the grizzly bear until they disappear. Take the monkey pemmican, I suppose. <laughs> oh, healing potions, soft fur. We'll take them. We've got to make sure they don't just go to waste. That's almost worse, isn't it? And then if we do that and then just uh, rest, those prisoners will be tended automatically. There we go. Okay. No longer incapable of walking. No longer incapable of walking. There we are. Just a little bit of rest. And that seems to have seems to have done them well. I'm not sure how it works. Obviously, uh, healing them on the caravan. Whether they'll focus on healing our people first. No, because she's healing the prisoners. Okay, cool. Worked perfectly. Seven, eight, nine people. Ten people. Uh, we can get rid of the goose and the goose and the grizzly bear. You can go now. You're fine. Bill complete make black guard helmet. Oh, sweet. What did that one look like? We've got to decide who that goes to. Um... When I look at that, what do I think? Do I think Electromancer? Do I think Berserker? I, I think the Dread Spear works perfectly for the Necromancer using the spear, so we'll keep that one. Warlock, it's a little eldritch looking. Honestly, I look at it and I think Sea Creature. It's kind of like a conch. Give that to the, the eldritch person who might have made uh, a deal with some horrifying eldritch sea creature. That could be good. <laughs> he does also look like complete shit. Pink outfit, green beard. Man's going to a rave rather than, you know, actually on the front line. Maybe you get the Blackguard helmet. It is 30% social impact. Oh, maybe it's better for Phil. Are they all 30% though? No. Oh, maybe we give it to Phil then. Though so Phil is the one who looks kind of cool. All right, Scooty, you know what? It's time. You've been slept on for a while, my friend. And that eyeball explosion you did last time was, was super helpful. Iron Blackguard helmet. There you go. 92.4% sharp armor. My God. Scooty, you're going to look better than you've ever looked before. Show us. Oh, yeah. 
that's that's an improvement for sure. This is the only person who I'm a little bit worried about. We've got an infection, but of course we could. Oh, there's another one right on cue. Amazing. They are being tended very slowly. Death in 11 hours now, rather than eight. Oh god, we've just got to get them back and start getting them tended. How's the prison going? It's not bones. Look, I love the armor. I appreciate what you're doing for us. We got a lot of people about to turn up. I don't like the fact that we're founding a kingdom with a bunch of. A, a bunch of monkey poachers. And Bones is full of mana too, so any of these people who've got infections, we just blast them with the immunity. They're gonna be fine. This is genuinely gonna be like 11 more people. We might have to leave Phil here so that he can focus on converting them. Because it's, it's one thing just to send a bunch of prisoners out there to go work for you, but I want them to actually believe in the cause. Here we go. Right, okay. Send them very quickly to uh, the prisons. Uh, get, get down here. Capture all of them. And our Sky Shard for Grigna Jr. tuned to construction. Honestly, you need all the help you can get. You've inherited your father's incredible aptitude for learning, so let's just go for it. Oh! You'll be fine. You've got three of our best. Eight. <laughs> I think we'll be fine, yeah. Finally, the epic showdown we've been wanting all this time. Get him, team. I, th I genuinely thought they were fleeing them for a second. Oh my god. <laughs> really do live in a society. There you go. That should be two construction levels. Very nice. It's not massive, but it's something. It's his first quest. And we got another healing potion. This is his first quest. I think that's nice. A nice, easy one to to get used to the lifestyle. And there we go, arcane weapons. Now, how on earth do we craft these bloody things? What is that you're building that out of? Oh, sky steel. Um, fine. Oh, God, here we go. Oh, wow. So it's 30, 30 steel always. 300 gold. My God. And then you've got uh, 55 amethyst for those ones. Um, we can also make them out, funnily enough, emeralds, rubies, etc., etc. Enchanted emerald, enchanted ruby, enchanted sapphire. Wow. Oh my god, look at how many there are! Man, they look so cool as well. Are there emerald ones or is it just the... Oh, wow. Um, I don't even know where to start, to be honest with you. This could, in theory, be better. Say, for example, we make a ruby bow. It could be better than what Rita has right now. Now, I'm going to elevate a lot of people to tending. And we're going to just make sure nobody's going to die of an infection. Anybody who is... Like, green's a little bit on the edge there. Is that everybody captured? Wait... No way is that everybody. Hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I thought we had 12. Uh, there's one of them. <laughs> just wandering around. Oh, yeah. Look, there's one there. Oh, good. Well done, team. Really just knocked it out of the park. I realize we haven't got enough beds in hindsight. All right. So I think I lost one person, but that's okay. I, and like lost, I mean physically lost. I don't know where I put them. You're okay. No, I think actually they're going to be fine. We'll hold on to the mana then, and if anybody develops an infection that we're not going to be able to cure, say we got a really bad unlucky 10 quality, just a bad roll, then we can send Bones in afterwards to patch him up. What about Grigna? You took a lot of damage. Oh, uh, maybe Grigna's infection in the lung might be a good use of that instead. Never again. No, I'm never letting any of these people die. Uh, are you good? Infection again in red. An infection in the eye. <laughs> we know how to kill those, I'll scooty. Fine, all right. Well, we'll just do it to everybody. I, I need as many people as possible to kick start this kingdom. And if we show them a little kindness, if we show them that we're willing to use our power to help them, maybe they're going to join us willingly. And dare I say, I might even be willing to give them some healing potions. But only if things get, like, we need to stop that a few more, right? We've only got two. I'd like to keep some for our people, but as long as we've got a couple in, in storage at all times, you know, maybe when we're above five, we can start giving it to the prisoners. So I'm going to change these to just be made out of steel from now on. I think it's... It's the way we've got to do it, isn't it? We've got to make sure everybody's got that consistent baseline. No, I don't need three of each. Thank you. I didn't realize that other one was being made out of iron. And to be honest, it's way too much effort to redo that because this takes a bloody long time to craft anything. Even if it's just like 162 work, it's it's going to be forever. It's not going to be ages. Oh, you ran out of food. Whoops. <laughs> well, we've got to teach Greg the Junior a lesson the hard way. Pretty much every caravan runs out of food. I guess we just go through and we convert everybody. We just convert everybody over. And then every three days, we can instantly convert one anyway with Phil. We'll send them to Baron Jeb's mine in the hope that we can turn it into a full-on city. We'll name him Mayor Jeb instead. Boom! Eagle, join us. Now we just have to wait three days. Another three, six, nine, 12, 15, 21. Oh, God. <laughs> just over another two seasons and we'll be ready to convert everybody and send them over to Jeb. I mean, we can send them one at a time, right? We don't, need to, we don't need to keep all these people around as soon as they're converted. We just chip them off. Ooh, another Sky Shard. Yes, go. Go with Grigan Jr. Ah, 
Well, who could have predicted keeping elephants and dragons in close proximity might not have worked out well, eh? Uh, the problem is that Rita doesn't have the animal handling skill to be able to keep them tame. So the only way we can keep them tame is by occasionally blasting them with word of animals, waiting for them to turn wild, and then doing it again. So it's not the most ideal situation, is it? Do we have like a book of animal handling that she could have? Crafting, arts, herb lore. And maybe there's a quest for it? Maybe. <laughs> maybe if we roll the dice. Sky Shard attuned to mining. Oh, no. Uh, Grigna Jr. can't do that because he's a child, so he can't... He can't use the Sky Shard. That's unfortunate. Is anybody, like, naturally skilled at it just in case... Oh, okay, sure. Irina can use it. What are you, what are you under attack from? What the hell's going on? A bunch of feral ground runner? Bill's got to stay at the castle. Someone's got to take care of all these prisoners. Someone's got to convert them over, and he's got, like, 20 social... There are two lots of Corsair groups now. We've got one attacking House Waltney. They've got a term of intelligence, shocking stuff, and gold, which we need to craft all that arcane gear. Then we've got the robber band for the term of melee that we'll give to Grigna Jr., the legendary medicine. I think there's only one man for the job. Who else could we trust to take out 11 other people than Grigna Grignison himself? So those are Corsairs, and those are Corsairs. That one has 11. That one has... Oh, they both have 11 people. Easy. That, that is that is a warm-up for Grigna. We are going to show Grogna Grognason that he's messing with the wrong man. 85 tiles a day. Holy shit. Well, that was because we're on the road, of course. 46.2 now. Even that is just ridiculous. 46 tiles a day. We could get across the bloody planet in like a, a week. Legendary Steel Blank Guard Pauldrons. Hello. Now, bear in mind, uh, I'm making three of these so that we can give them all to the same squad. Did I give the first ones to? Uh, we definitely made some before, but I seem to have lost them. It's okay. They're only priceless uh, artifacts, so it's not really that big a deal, huh? What do these legendary ones do, though? Uh, oh, no, they're, they're still on the rack. There you go. Um, we've got one that will give global work speed, move speed, research speed. Okay. Um, wow, that's really useless. All right, you know what? Lupus can have them, and then Kazoos. This squad needs the most upgrade in terms of appearance because they just look terrible. We can't have our kingdom's elite defenders looking like crap. Now it's time. This surely can't backfire because I'm pretty sure the last time I said Grigna can handle it. Uh, Grigna definitely did not handle it. You remember the whole fiend situation? Oh my god, look at this map. This is cool. Oh, why couldn't we have started here? Hello. Oh, you fools. You're done for. Followers of Grogna Grognason, your time has come. We could beckon them. Oh, he needs so much more. Shall I do it? I feel like we've we've really... I feel like we've really nerfed Grigna by not... I can't afford to multi-class him. I, you know, I like the idea that everyone else is getting multi-class there. They're diverging their skills. Grigna is just going to become the world's greatest barbarian ever. And I kind of like that plan more. Like, don't ever buy him any more powers because the rest of crap that's all about aiming. But now we go all in on the load... I think that's good. Would it be more Grigna to try and learn a breadth of things, new skills, new experiences? No, of course not. No, he would never do that. He would just become the best barbarian possible. So we're gonna we're gonna do one of those. We're gonna do one of those. Double damage. And now we can finally do double damage, double speed. And we can do <laughs> Oh, wait, that's double attack speed. This is double physical speed. And then we can do the chain kill along with the leap. I think we just go with the chain attack, right? Get him, Grigna. Get him, Grigna. Cave him. Search and destroy. Do you know what? That's not quite as powerful as I anticipated. In hindsight. To say that in theory it should be hitting twice as fast and twice as hard. Oh! Bloody sidecasters. Who did that? Who did that? Tell me your name. Tell me your name. It's probably you there. Green Llama. Is there anyone else with... Oh, God. No, no, no. Look, you've got heat. It was Grasshopper Slayer. Now it's Grigna Slayer. Oh, Grigna, no. Oh, he's bottled it. Oh, he's panicking. Now they're making him vomit. What, they've they've uh, rotten him too? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I think he'll be fine, but I'm not going to lie. This was an enormous, unnecessary gamble sending just Grigna. He's snapped out of it. Do it. Can you not? Is this not the one that does the uh, chain assassinate? Yeah, Grigna, Grigna, do it. Why you've got your double power, you moron. Hold on. Let's do double power again. Make sure it's active. And then chain assassinate. Go. Chain... Ch Chain assassinate you. Yes! Oh, that was it. Well, hey, good work. I'll teach the worshippers of Grogna Grognison. Go on, get out of here. 94% health. Yeah, you know what, in hindsight, I'm not sure why I was worried. Unless it's an enormous, uh, 
psychic goat. I don't think there's any any further problems. <laughs> An enormous purple psychic moose. Grigna's one weakness. When you got some nice beds. Oh, this is so much nicer than the shit that we've got. Look at that all 3D and everything. Or at least a slightly nicer perspective than your regular bed. What were they doing here? Oh, it was just a bandit camp. Oh, cool. Okay, well, let's head out to the next one then. And should we drag them along for the ride? <laughs> and there was on this map a healing potion. We got 199 Psychite Tea. That one lasts Grigna two seconds. And for our payment, what did we get? I think it was some skill books, right? Yeah, it was. Look, Tome of Intelligence, Tome of Crafting, some of that. Not that we need the Tome of Intelligence, but you know what? Bones could use the Tome of Crafting right now to... Uh, yeah, she's already consistently churning out Masterworks because of the ideology, and they're consistently becoming legendary. Why not more consistently 100% of the time do it? I feel bad about having all these books just festering in the vault. So I'm going to have Rita learn the... Brilliant. <laughs> that was a great investment, huh? Wow. Okay, I mean, other than the treaties then that barely got her up half a level, we can use these Tome of Herblore to go up to... Whoa. Maybe a little bit of a waste. A 15 to 18, 18 to 20. Amazing. We've got Tome of Intelligence. I I'll be honest, I don't know who the hell to give that to because Sebastian, our researcher, is already... Above level 20, Tom of Arts? Uh, that was Gunsy, right? Yeah, here you go. This one is for you then. Necromancer Artist. <laughs> it's a weird combo, I will admit. Oh, we can put some more, some more Sky Shards out here. They make for such good decoration. 14 to 20? Oh my God, because you're, what was that? Natural? Uh, critical. So you learn it 300 times as fast, or at 300% rate, but you learn everything else much slower. Oh my God. So you're going to be able to make, like, some some masterful artistic pieces, too, now. That's crazy. Then we've got the Tome of Intelligence we can't do anything with. Treaty on Melee, I think. Little Grigna Jr., already 7.31. Where's Blue Rose? Because that is for you. Let's finally dust off this axe that's been sat doing nothing for a long time. I think, given that you're probably about to get it to... What do you think? Maybe, like, level 10? Ooh! Irina and uh, Sirica getting married. Oh, how lovely. I think it's finally time. I think you're ready. 9.5. <laughs> Level 7 to 9. That says 8. It's actually 9.5. Well, it's close enough, I suppose. Show me. Blue Rose. Grigna's original axe. The thing he started with. The thing he named himself. Passed on to a new generation. There you go, little guy. Now, I'm going to give the Tome of Intelligence to Bones. Because I presume some of the arcane stuff will have, uh, as it tends to, an intelligence necessity on some of the uh like, like a requirement to actually craft some of it fully healed and ready to go i see as if nothing ever happened oh this base is so quaint look at a little mushroom farm by the river here comes grigna to come and destroy it all ah! well ah uh, destroy uh, destroy it all i didn't mean actually like destroy reality clearly he's doing fine under there what's the dragon doing it's gonna go and eat that pet hippo. <laughs> ah, there you go. Everything's fine. Remember, when things start falling apart in life, they'll always get better in the end. Unless you're a follower of Grogna Grognison. At which point, there only lies pain. Die! Die! <laughs> oh, you're a hungry dragon, aren't you? A fancy foot for when we inevitably run out of healing potions. Amazing. Thank you, Grigna. Well, that's a decisive blow to the... To the clan Grognison, I think. Oh, we can carry some people back. I think they'll probably bleed out before we get home, but Grigna might be able to manage some tending. You're going to wish you died <laughs> with his bandaging skills. 12.91 with a little baby Grignison. Holy crap. You're probably one of our best melee characters now. No way he actually did it. It was like, who the hell are all these people? It's all prisoners he was able to capture. Oh, shit. Where the hell am I going to put them all? Um, Phil, my God. You are going to be the busiest man there has ever been in this game. Oh, okay, okay. Round them up fast. <laughs> Holy shit. It's another seven people. But not only is it another seven people, it's seven people that we're taking away from Grogna Grognason and having be part of the kingdom, willingly, of Grigna Grignison. Uh, depending on your definition of the word willingly. Because Zeus has those really cool armbands. Oh, no. Can we get some... What in the World of Warcraft shit is that? This isn't a mobile game, Kazoos. We need actual defensive armor, otherwise you're gonna die. What are we crafting right now? Steel Blackguard armor. Um, oh God, shit, maybe I'm gonna have to give that to Gazoose. Who was I giving it to? Scoosie? Scoosie, I don't think there's, I, 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 you're gonna have to find something else, pal. Just a bit of late night emergency smithing to get Gazoose some bloody clothes. There you are. 
Oh, is that even better? Now, because I'm sticking to this elven armor, because it all looks amazing, right? Really well made. One of them is gonna have to get the sexy armor with the kind of, the kind of boob gold horn. And who out of this squad should get the sexy armor? You're right. I mean, it's obvious, isn't it? <laughs> it's gonna be a while before it's done, but I want you to prepare yourself. Because tomorrow's episode, wow. I hope you're sitting down for it. Don't understand. <laughs> we had a prison break, right? I was just going to gloss over it because it's just a case of getting lupus to do the ice thing. They all get hypothermia, fall down, put him back in prison, right? Uh, one escaped and was mauled by the dare. So in response, uh, they've put a warrant on it. <laughs> Torture. <laughs> oh, Christ, on the horse. They're so hungry. Well, I think you're probably done for, aren't you? Um, let's see if we can knock him down here. Uh, can we can we do anything to... Oh, sorry, Phil was on it. There we are. And it begins. Here we go. Phil has finally broken through the first person. Now, I've also put Gunsy on recruitment as well, because quite honestly, Phil just simply can't go through all the people. By the time the first person's off cooldown, Phil has barely got through the rest of the room, right? So between the two of them, they should be able to tidy this up pretty fast. But the fact that we've already got one person means that... We're going to start recruiting pretty much all of them now, right? He's been going through them all in order, so it would make sense that now we're going to... Look, down to 3.1 already. This is good. Oh, did you put on that... Oh, it looks cool. Oh, it looks cool, but that's for... That's nah, not for you. Take that off. I thought, what was the biggest, heaviest, and most ridiculous armor we've got? Well, it's the Stag Knight gear. So it's got to go to our biggest and heaviest and most ridiculous character. Hey, you leave that alone. I've also got McCall helping out with the crafting because we have just way too much stuff. Uh, yeah, put that down. Oh, good quality. Mine? It's not mine. It's Sister Lover Get Silly. Uh, I get the feeling the Elven gear doesn't work for Hulk body types because she's a barbarian. She's got that Hulk body by default. Honestly, that looks good enough. I'm happy with that one. That's some of the uh, some of the enchanted armor we got from a quest too. I think it looks pretty all right. Oh, and it turns out it's like 20 total work to make the cloaks. Oh man, we're gonna be able to finish an entire squad. This is so good. Oh, and another legendary one. Oh my god, melee hit chance, melee cooldown, melee damage multiplier. And look at this. At long last, we finally have a totally completed squad. They look amazing. You're ready. That is, that, that is how I want this kingdom to look. I mean, I mean, not specifically like this one. Oh my god, you made another one. <laughs> not specifically like this, but you know, everybody having their own kind of unique set and their own unique look. That is amazing. I, I think Bones once again has proven herself to be MVP. Tomorrow we finish off the conversion and recruitment of all these people and Baron Jeb gets to become mayor of, a, of the first proper town of the kingdom of Grigna. Now I've got to make the guy a crown. I've got to put that on the list. Soon. Soon, Grigna, everything the light touches will be your kingdom. But all that and more tomorrow. Thank you for joining me. What, a, what, a, what an adventure. I'm so glad some of these squads are finally starting to look aesthetic rather than just scrounging gear up. Finally, all of our quest rewards, all of that gold, all of the caravanning. It's finally starting to pay off, right? Thank you as well to, of course, the executive producer patrons for making the series possible. Uh, of course, more Elder Kings coming at uh, 6 p.m. Got to be a daily series. Thank you to Ben, Mego, Ian McComb, Spintex, Ghost Talk, Philippist, Felpy, Smurf, 4, 3, 2, 1, Sea Bark Train, Master of Loki, I Secretly Engineer All the Ice Wolf's Deaths, Anthony Frankenthal, Code Kai, Critical Hat, Evan Crocker, Mothbot, Jonathan Cameron, Soul, Cosmic Zombie, Q, Floofy Prawn, U Tyrant95, Kerbo Supreme, Complex Quantra, Necro Something, King Snitch Gaming, and Jackson. Thank you for your support over on Patreon. Much appreciated. Without that, I now, I now don't have to have things like sponsorships. Grigna VPN, defend your fortress. The only way Grigna knows how violence. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't use violence to fight off internet hackers. Thank you as well to Nightbee, Hotleaf, Juice, ADD, Ape, Palindrome, Dave, Perseus, 2001, Azarius, Necrosense, Seri, Pixel Biologist, Nikki in Wonderland, Carnal Grained, Michael Green, Gamerman7799, Simon Olivier, Brisson, Skunkalope, Fall Vondusk, Jenny, Annabelle K, Matthias Yolgi, Holzinger, Max Sharp, Mattis Skeno, Grubfiend, Caffo, Corrupt Racer, Cyber Monkey, Thomas Nab, Mr. Meeseeks, Mr. Hildebrand, Untouched Wagons, and finally, Aramis. Come back tomorrow. It's finally time to found that kingdom.